I'm so excited today I get to have my Yiddish adventure. I've always been intrigued about the language ever since growing up I would hear words being thrown around here and there. Always wanted to learn more and today I get to. I'm Deborah Eckerling and this is my 2019 Jewish Bucket List. My name is Mary Coral, and I'm the director of the California Institute for Yiddish Culture and Language. And today we're putting on a special event as part of our contemporary Yiddish culture series. And it's with Mishkan Tefila, uh, a synagogue on the border of Venice and Santa Monica. And the, the event is called Yiddish Poetry Beat with live music. Is my own uh, background in Yiddish is that I, it's my native language. It was the only language I spoke at home with my parents. And at Columbia University, I took one class in Yiddish, and I discovered that Yiddish has a grammar. Oh my, and a complicated grammar at that. And then my, my respect for it really uh, was elevated, but that was all that I, I did with it until my parents passed away. And then I realized that I had no one to speak with anymore, and I didn't want to lose this language. So um, I set out uh, to be somewhere where this was spoken, being taught, and, and the very first encounter with that totally sparked me, and I literally fell in love with the literature, with the music. Literally speaking, Yiddish means Jewish. Though its basic vocabulary and grammar are derived from medieval West German, Yiddish integrates many languages, German, Hebrew, Aramaic, and various Slavic and Romance languages. <laughs> Poetry, of course, is part of Jewish tradition that goes back to the Bible, at least. And it's a wonderful, expressive aspect of Yiddish because there is something beautiful about Yiddish in that it lends itself easily to rhyme and rhythm. This is one way today in which we can bring forth this legacy in a way that appeals to a wider audience who maybe is a little bit intimidated by the idea of poetry. It was like a beatnik poetry night, but instead of being in the nightclub, it was in the afternoon in a Jewish center. And one of the things that was really interesting is that I could pick out words here and there from the poetry. I didn't understand a lot of it, but you could see the emotion in Miri as she was reading the words. Yiddish is, is worth hanging on to because it's our own, because embedded in it is our DNA, in a sense, of wandering from country to country. It's all there in Yiddish. The wisdoms that we've gained that are uniquely ours, that come from our experience, and, uh, and the humor, and the, the ability to keep going and to adapt. It's all there in Yiddish, and it belongs to us not just to Jews, but to really the world. If this Jewish bucket list to hear Yiddish poetry did one thing, it only got me even more excited and more anxious to learn Yiddish. So now that I've gotten even a bigger taste of Yiddish as a language, I have to take a class because I really, really want to dive into it and, and be able to speak and write the language. <laughs>